It's time for Where You Live with Gene and Tony, the show that's all about owning, buying, selling, renting, and association management. If it involves a home, we'll talk about it. Here's your chance to get your homeowner questions answered. From the Concierge Landscape Studios, here's Gene and Tony. Need the shelter of someone's arms, and there you were. Needed someone to understand my ups. Good morning and welcome to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. I'm Gene Sullivan. And I'm Tony Crockett. How are you, Gene? I'm great, and how about you? I'm doing fine. Yeah, it's uh, coming up to Halloween here, and we, mm. we've got a... Uh, a, a story we're going to be uh, sharing just shortly with uh, our listeners about a uh, party rock anthem Halloween house <laughs> that uh, was something else. And, uh, it's kind of a controversial issue in the, his homeowners association. In his, home, in his right? homeowners association, yeah. thus why it's on the show. <laughs> uh, we've also heard from a couple of our listeners who've uh, written in this last week and asked some questions that okay. they wanted us Good. to address. We'll do that uh, a little bit and uh, so much more. Uh, folks, we are broadcasting uh, from the Natural Green Lawn and Landscape Studios today. Uh, remember, Natural Green is a locally owned and operated lawn and landscape care company. And their mission is to use the most environmentally sensitive products available to keep your lawn and landscape looking lush, beautiful, while still healthy for both people and pets. Now, whether you use their organic program or their traditional program, you can rest assured they're always using horticulturally sound principles for some great results. Give them a call. They're number 763-213-2410. We're, of course, also brought to you by Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. But uh, now let us uh, turn, without further ado, to property management in the news. Property management in the news is brought to you by Home Furniture and Abbey Floor Coverings. Their showrooms are staffed with professionals who will help you choose what you need to fit both your lifestyle and budget. Whatever you need, chances are they have what you're looking for. Now, if you want to avail yourself of some very special pricing and discounts you're not going to find anywhere else, all Where You Live listeners can call Customer Service Coordinator Lori Matson at this number, 952-224-2663. That number again, 952 224-2663. Two two four, two six six three. Well, let's uh, get into our uh, first story here, and this is uh, the Party Rock Anthem Halloween House shut down by their eighth by an HOA. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gentleman who owned the house is uh, named Kevin Judd, and apparently he's been enjoying programming very elaborate uh, light and sound displays at his home in Riverside, California, and he's been doing that for a number of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, he, it looks like he, not just on his own, but it, I think he's been doing that with a uh, uh, advertising or promotion uh, company, too, that's also No, no, he him. owns a creative lighting company. That's it. Okay, so he yeah. owns he owns yeah. it thus. Yeah. Okay, so, it, it, so uh, anyway, he's had these very elaborate uh, displays last year. Uh, at Halloween, uh, we're not just talking at Christmas time now, but at Halloween, he has had uh, the Party Rock Anthem Halloween House. Now, uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with uh, the uh, uh, musical stylings of... Uh, LMFAO. Of that, <laughs> of LM, yes, yes, okay. We will play a few bars for our listeners. Go ahead. Every day I'm shuffling... Yeah. So this is the music theme to his Halloween house. Yes, and so every night uh, you uh, we have people who are driving by and people in the association are hearing well, this. Well, what happened last year was that the film clip of the light display and music was posted on YouTube, mm-hmm. and it went viral, went 
extremely viral. Yeah, it, it blew up. It's over 10, 10 million, million hits. 10 million hits, yes. And that created a lot of uh, interest and a lot of sightseers mm-hmm. in, in the neighborhood. Yes. And so uh, apparently, though, this year... For the first time in a number of years, Mr. Judd's home does not have any display. It's not lit up this and, year. And people are saying, hey, wh- why is it? Uh, were the electric bills unmanageable? <laughs> uh, did you get burned out, uh, Judd? Uh, you know, uh, what was uh, what's going on? No, his HOA finally said, uh, you've gone just a little bit too <laughs> you've far. You've gone too far, yep. yep. And uh, so, yeah, that's what happened. Apparently, neighbors in the community didn't necessarily like the display uh, light and sound that was created. The display apparently drew thousands of people each night. Thousands of people. Thousands of people. Every night. Yes. Driving by. At the least, driving by. But it It, sounds like they were also pulling over, stopping, and getting out of their car. Yes. And um, people were lining up uh, some days starting at 2 p.m., even though the show didn't start till (sighs) 7.30 at night. So some of the complaints were that people were parking and blocking driveways uh, to other homes. They were damaging property by stepping in on lawns and landscaping. They left trash yeah. behind. Can you imagine if yeah. you're if if on your street you had thousands of people driving now, by? Now, just night? to get you a, a perspective, when we were out at the the state fair uh-huh. you know, the, this year, um, after you have, uh, did you notice the grass? I did. Uh, the very first day of the fair oh, versus the very end of the fair. <laughs> you know, when you have thousands of people yeah. walking on yeah. something day after day, yeah. they're not doing anything wrong. Sure. And nothing destructive. Sure. sure. But all of that activity yeah. just causes uh, things to So there was erode. no grass left at the end of the fair, yeah. you're saying? So okay. I can imagine that we're talking about this and people are saying, hey, wait a minute. This is nice. Mr. Judd, that you've uh, done this, it's mm-hmm. been entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, you the fact that it went viral, uh, he's going to make some money off of that. Hey, that's kind of nice. But, Possibly, you yeah. Know, um, but it's just a little bit too much. And at the end, what what kind of, what I found kind of uh, amusing is uh, there was uh, this attitude by the person uh, writing uh, this uh, this blog here. I don't know if it was Mr. Judd or who it was, but it's, he said. We feel the rules only apply to us and to no one else. And they, they felt that the HOA was being unfair with this set of rules. <laughs> yeah, they, they were pretty judicious about it. We've heard a lot worse. And, and I was happy to hear this story did not end up in court, Mr. Judd suing his HOA. Yeah. He seemed to be a little more yeah. accepting. But but let me just address that statement. We feel the rules only apply to us and no one else. Duh. So to put it to put it to put it tactfully, um, most people uh, have a little bit more uh, decorum and thoughtfulness about their neighbors. Sure. If you're, it's sure. one thing to put something up and have a a special party. We've all had that, you know, a gathering at our home. You talk to your neighbors ahead of time. It's not a big deal. You're talking about something. This guy. It sounded like. Did things uh, from uh, beginning in October with Halloween and then all the way through the holidays. Christmas. He had a Christmas display, too. You're, you're looking yeah. at about a three-month period of time yeah. where things are up. <laughs> that, that's a fourth of the year you're asking people. Well, and then, as I said, he owns a creative lighting company, so it was also a huge promotion for his company, obviously. Exactly. So that's questionable. But, but if you want to see it. Go on YouTube, online, and I entered uh, his name, Kevin Judd, J-U-D-D, Party Rock Anthem, and you you can watch the video. It's it's impressive. It it it, yeah. it really is. Yeah. He is uh, creative. So uh, the part of uh, people who are looking for light and sound displays, uh, Mr. Judd's the man to see. There you go. I think if He's you're in California. Yeah. Uh, but if you uh, want uh, things that are. Uh, sedate in your HOA, he's not the man to call. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not. I, no. I would, I would I'd, I'd be afraid to even invite him to my house, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> or to put him next to any kind of uh, electrical There you go. Uh, appliance. appliance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, that is, uh, that is our story with uh, property management in the news today here. Uh, we're going to take a break in just a moment, but we'll, before I do, I just want to let our listeners know we've got a great resource available for you. It's called What's New. 
It's our bi-monthly newsletter. It uh, goes out to more than 23,000 uh, folks. Mm-hmm. It's also uh, published on our website at New Concepts, as well as yours free for the asking. All you need to do is give us a call during the week at 952-922-2500. Ask for Lori. She'll make sure that you start receiving that uh, electronically or by mail. Uh, in it, there, there's uh, great information on some of the webinars that we do, uh, other information that uh, people have uh, found very, very helpful. Uh, plus, it's given the access for our listeners also to be able to get a hold of us Mm -hmm. Um, during the week, too. And uh, with that, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to deal with two questions that were sent in this last week from homeowners asking for Tony and I to weigh in on some issues that they're dealing with at their HOA. But we'll take a break and more where you live after this.